It's been three years since Russia's land grab to wrest Crimea from Ukraine. There are signs that Russian President Vladimir Putin wants a bargain with the West that includes recognizing Crimea as part of Russia. The European Union and United States say that it will never happen. But an important voice is often left out of the discussion, that of Crimean Tatars. They've lived in Crimea for centuries, and Moscow has consistently treated them harshly. In 1944, Soviet dictator Joseph Stalin ordered the entire population of nearly 190,000 Crimean Tatars deported overnight. In a classified 800-word document, he accused them all of treason during World War II. He sent most of them to special settlements in Soviet Uzbekistan. The deportees were packed in stock cars by the dozens. Around 8,000 people died during the two-week journey. Building a new life in a foreign land was extremely difficult. Hard labor, hunger, and disease killed more than one in three deportees in the first few years. That's more than 75,000 people. Generations of Crimean Tatars grew up far from their ancestral homeland until they were finally allowed to return in 1989 in the waning days of the Soviet Union. During their exile, Moscow prevented them from studying in their own language, let alone publishing books, newspapers, or magazines. Their land in Crimea had been taken by others, namely ethnic Ukrainians and Russians, who occupied their homes after the deportation. The return home marked the beginning of a new struggle for recognition and acceptance. In newly independent Ukraine, Crimean Tatars worked with the government. Little by little, schools and mosques opened across the peninsula. They created newspapers and radio and TV stations began broadcasting regularly in Crimean Tatar. That all came to an abrupt halt in February 2014. Russian troops covertly occupied Crimea and Moscow annexed it. The majority of Crimean Tatars spoke out against the Russian takeover. Some were harassed and thrown in prisons. So far, as many as 10,000 Crimean Tatars have left Crimea. A kind of voluntary deportation 70 years later. Crimean Tatar singer Jamala won Eurovision 2016 with the song 1944, recounting the deportation. Her performance, she said, symbolized a revival for Ukraine in Crimea and the hope that something pure and bright might replace her people's suffering.